emotionally has been hard. Attacked on the trolley, this San Diego woman was left beaten and bruised trying to get home from work. And now questions are being raised about trolley safety and security. Team 10 investigator Adam Rokusin is looking into why she and her attorney believe this attack could have been prevented. Adam. And her attorney believes people who are on the trolleys are powerless because they're stuck inside of a moving container. And that she's not the only one to be attacked on the trolley. They believe the attacker was preying on the powerless who had nowhere to go and inadequate security to protect them. Two years ago, Natalie Dieterlizzi packed her bags, took a leap of faith, and headed across the country, moving from New Jersey to San Diego. Living in paradise was a dream. But one night in November, everything changed. I've been looking over my shoulder ever since. The personal trainer was headed home from work on the trolley near the gas lamp and convention center areas. She says after getting on, a man sat down next to her. A few moments later, I felt someone over me and just hitting me in the face and the side of the head repeatedly. When the beating was over, the man took off. Natalie's face looked like this. I'm still dealing with concussion issues, dizziness, difficulty concentrating. She describes it as a life changing moment, but could it have been prevented? Well, I think that across the board, security at the, the, the MTS system is absolutely inadequate. Attorney Dan Gillian represents Dieter Lizzi. He believes at least five people have been assaulted on the trolley system, at least three before this incident. Now he's filing a claim on behalf of Dieter Lizzi with MTS. They plan to sue for inadequate security. You would think that if they have a predator out there, um, that their security should know about it, that security should be increased, and the passengers you know, should know about this. 10 News has learned MTS has 220 security officers patrolling the system. Its joint task force consists of different law enforcement departments from across the area. But Dieter Lizzie says in the two years she's ridden the trolley, she's never seen anyone. Now, despite the emotional challenges, she's just trying to get back to normal. Good support system. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting upset. Good support system around me. And I just got a statement from MTS that says in part they are working closely with multiple jurisdictions to investigate efforts for the assaults. The agency also said they identified the suspect and that led to his arrest. We'll continue to look into the timeline of events and when things were reported. Adam Rakusin, Team 10.